interesting? The Royal Swedish Academy of Science has seen fit to, uh, I have been awarded the Nobel Prize again. This time for chemistry. For what? For my extraction of the elements radium and polonium. Congratulations, Mother. Congratulations, Mother. And they have suggested that I do not come to avoid unnecessary controversy. Well. Yeah, let me measure your head, Eve. Come here, sweetie. We were so pleased you were able to make it to Sweden, Mrs. Curie. Were you? Oh, yes. The women's movement in Stockholm supported you with great strength and conviction. Have you all that you need? Yes, I have everything I need. They don't like you here. Nonsense. I'm merely having a hard time separating my scientific life from my personal life. Why don't they like your personal life? What will you talk of in your speech? Personal things? No. The chemistry of the imponderable. Some 15 years ago, the radiation of uranium was discovered by Henri Becquerel. And two years later, the study of this phenomenon was extended to other substances, first by me, and then by Pierre Curie. And myself. This study rapidly led us to the discovery of new elements, the radiation of which, while being analogous to that of uranium, was far more intense. Thanks to this discovery of new, very powerfully radioactive substances, the study of radioactivity progresses with marvelous rapidity. Here, driver. Irene, I won't. I know. Then why am I here? Because you need to see it. But you I... think the war is something separate to you? Of course it is. You think you can't help? Irene, I'm ill. I'm female. I can't see myself being much use to anyone. But give me a gun and I'll try. This country is at war. And the medical services are a disaster. I won't go inside your hospital. 
I know, Mother. So I'm bringing it outside to you. This is Frank. Hello, Frank. He's had both his legs amputated. This is Pascal. Hello, Pascal. He's had both his arms amputated. Irene. And this is Gabriel. Irene. I don't want to look at them like exhibits in a museum. They are chopping these boys up. They don't have the facilities to do otherwise. It's tragic. What do you want me to do about it? You're Marie Curie. It's time to make this war your war. Please. As senior science minister in the government, I must tell you... Young boys are dying. A senior scientist minister... Science, you, science minister. My apologies, senior science minister. I see your sense of superiority has stayed with you. Professor Lippmann, you have never liked me. It's not a question of liking or disliking. Quite. It's a question of respect, and you have respected me now. With a mobile radiography unit, we can be x-raying troops before deciding whether they need amputation. Surely you can see that Madame this is... Madame Curie, all I can see is an impractical measure proposed by a woman I know to be eminently practical. I need funds. I need access. I need the ability to go out on the battlefields. You must grant it me. Why, pray, must I do that? Partly because it is right. Partly because I am needed. But mostly, mostly because I am sick and tired. I cough blood most nights, and this is my last fight. And I will win it. We're both tired, Madame Curie. 